opinions. This is an overview comparison of the G11 versus G24 Wilcox mounts. Depending on what your budget and needs are, one may be more appropriate than the other. I recommend a minimum of the G11, mainly due to adjustability, quality, um, and it's a pretty good price compared to other mounts out there. G24 is a little bit more expensive, but it does have some features that warrant that extra cost. Um, either one you go with, I don't think you can go wrong, but consider your needs. The G11 is more stupid monkey gross motor skills in that it's a force to overcome. And basically up, down, up, down. The G24 is a button engagement. I prefer the button engagement. It's a little bit smoother, but um, either one will work depending on what you want. I like that when it's up, it's locked. And when it's down, it's locked. It's not going anywhere. Granted, I don't think you'll have an issue with this flopping down on you while you're running. I'm not sure over time if this spring will loosen up and become... It'll flip down easier, especially with the weight of a monocular on uh, mounts to it. They both have the same range of adjustment for height. And they both adjust the same way. However, the G11 actually has more range of adjustment for distance from your eye. So if you wear glasses or you like wearing goggles and you need that extra space away from your face or even just based on the facial construction of your head, the G11 may actually work better for you than the shorter G24. I like how far back the G24 goes. I think the G11 goes the same, but I don't need it to be far out because when I'm shooting, I wear pretty low profile shooting glasses, so I don't need it to be really far out. I still run it all the way in, and I also use nods for stuff other than shooting. So there may be situations where I'm not wearing glasses at all, I'm just out walking, um, taking a hike at night, whatever. Um, they both have 15 degrees of angle adjustment, so depending on how the helmet you are wearing fits on your head, you may need to tilt the PVS down or up. The Both Wilcox allow you to do that, and I'm pretty sure that the Norotos do too. Norotos are excellent as well, I'm just more of a Wilcox person. Chevy versus Ford, pick one. The G24 also stows a little bit more compact, a little bit closer to the helmet, whereas the G11 kind of keeps it kicked it out a little bit, which makes sense since it's the force to overcome, gives you the extra space to grab it and pull it down, versus the G24 where you really don't need that, it's just, ta-da! So, the don't cheap out on some piece of crap mount. I think the G11 is an excellent choice, and I think it's the bare minimum. Um, it's just super solid. When it locks down, I mean, there's a little bit of play in your typical J-Arms, but that's not a Wilcox product, so... This is something you'll have to deal with. My buddy doesn't care. He enjoys this. It works really well. Um, it's a badass setup. But, just things to consider. Um... Yeah, thanks for watching.